Welcome to Finances Do Matter. My name is Richard and before I say what we're talking about you may be able to see up there the windows are quite dark. It is night time so I apologize for the poor light conditions. Today we're going to talk about India and how it has recently surpassed the United Kingdom in becoming the fifth largest economy of the world. Now, before we speak directly about India, I would like to tell you just a very brief story. When I was training to become a financial advisor and then wealth manager, some quite a few decades ago, we were told at the time that there were four main economies and then five which we should take note of. They were Brazil, Russia, India, and China eventually followed by South Africa and these were regarded as potentially the fastest emerging economies throughout the entire globe. Well we have seen how well China has done it's now the second largest economy in the world only being surpassed by the United States. South Africa has not fared quite so well. But India, of the five, has been the second best performer and is now the fifth largest economy. Why are we even speaking about India? Because although I'm not giving any form of investment advice, one would be negligent, if not mad, not to consider investing in India in a global portfolio. However, there have been some concerns expressed of late about India's performance and I'm going to show you a chart now highlighting where India fits in in the global parameter of gross domestic product which is how we're measuring the success of the economy and then what Bloomberg has said today though when you look at this video it'll have been yesterday about India's growth. So let's take a look at this chart. A diagram drawn by visualcapitalist.com highlighting the global economy. Now this is what it says. The majority of global economic activity comes from just a handful of countries with the US, China, Japan, Germany and India making up the top five. In 2022, India overtook the United Kingdom to become the world's fifth largest economy. And this is a share of the $101.6 trillion of global GDP by country in 2022. Let's look at the largest, which is of course the United States at 25 trillion. That is then followed by China at 18.3. Japan at 4.3 trillion, Germany at 4 trillion, but not that far behind, India at 3.5 trillion. And that takes up half of global GDP. The rest of the world here, they've amassed into 16 trillion. But look, Australia, 1.7 trillion. The United Kingdom, 3.2. So it looks like we're in sixth place now behind India. Bloomberg published on the 28th of February a headline India's GDP growth slows as higher interest rates take toll. I'm not going to read all of the article but just some key points. India's economy fared below expectations in the three months through December as a gloomy global outlook and rising borrowing costs hurt manufacturing and consumption. GDP or gross domestic product rose 4.4% from a year ago last quarter. That compares with 4.7% median estimate in a Bloomberg survey and 6.3% gain in July to September. Now for the fiscal year ending March the 31st, the ministry maintained its estimate for a 7% growth as GDP for the prior year expanded a revised 9.1%.
figures like this we in the West would absolutely love. <laughs> 7% growth. And it reminds me of really 25, if not 30 years ago, when we were looking then at China. And we were getting these phenomenal growth rates. And now we're getting them in India. So whilst perhaps India's economy has fared below expectations, let's not for one moment take the view that 7% growth is that bad. Yes, compared to perhaps what it has been, but we would absolutely love a 7% growth rate here in the West. Well, I don't know what you think of Bloomberg's report. I suspect it should be regarded as being negative, potentially, or at least give that impression. To have that level of growth in today's environment hardly seems a poor performance at all. India is an economy to watch. It's a much underestimated economy in my own personal view. And it is one which I shall return to in the weeks and months ahead. This is a channel on finance and investment. And India is going to play an increasingly prominent role in the sphere of economics and financial development. Thank you so much for listening. Please subscribe to the channel. Press the bell sign so you're notified of our videos as and when they're published. And sit back and ponder if you had money to invest where would you put it right now?